We all know it can be difficult to pick up the phone these days and easily reach customer service. Right. We begin at five with one young man's mission impossible. He couldn't dispute his Pike Pass bill by phone or computer despite phone numbers and a web address on the printout. Nick Camper is looking out for you by looking for answers. A young man called our station looking for help. He wanted to know why it was so hard to get a hold of someone at the Turnpike Authority. We spoke to them and asked why it's difficult for someone to pay or dispute a payment. Depending on the hours and lunch times and our availability, sometimes, you know, you have to wait. OTA's customer service director, Marcus Williams, says they are budgeted for 144 workers to take calls. Right now, they only have 61 employees with 40 of them trained to take payment requests or disputes over a turnpike bill. KFOR's news director, Natalie Hughes, tried to help a frustrated customer. I tried three different numbers. One was listed on the OTA website. The other one was on the statement that they had sent him from Pike Pass. And another one was a number that you can call to make payments on your bill. On one line, she waited on hold for 30 minutes before giving up. On another, the wait time was 35 minutes before she moved on to the third number and got through after 46 minutes. And I asked her, is a 46-minute wait on hold pretty typical for this type of service? And she said yes. Um, but then she told me she couldn't help me take the payment because she hadn't been trained on that. Williams says hiring employees for training is hard right now. With the market, we are struggling to even get 10 in a class. Payments can only be disputed over the phone or in one of the four customer service locations around the state. I was just trying to help this young man, but going through this system and staying on hold for so long, I can see why people say it is incredibly frustrating. In Oklahoma City, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. And the website also has issues. It doesn't allow the user to punch in the eight-digit code number. It only allows for five digits. Now, one note, our news director got answers at one of the state's four in-person Pike Pass centers and says the employee there she spoke with was extremely helpful, but she had to go there.